After leaving their homeland, the Aka people have faced many years of struggle to keep their traditions alive. As animists, the Aka maintain a protective gate in each of their villages to keep the evil spirits at bay. And in case a spirit does make its way through, the Aka have positioned a second gate, decorated with ornate wooden carvings to ensure that the spirit world remains on the side it belongs. Every year, important ceremonies are repeated for the village's protection. The gates are rebuilt and statues are erected depicting people with exaggerated genitalia, the spirits afraid of human sexuality. Their swinging ritual is just one of many ceremonies honouring the spirits they share the land with, a means to ask for blessings and to celebrate the harvest. The blacksmith used to play a pivotal role in these ceremonies, forging the weapons and tools. The Akka woman's extraordinary costumes and exotic appearance are amongst the most impressive of all the hill tribes, added to over the years from vibrant sashes to delicate overskirts. But the most important addition is an elaborate headpiece adorned with all manner of ornaments. Despite their migrations, the Akka culture has survived within its people, never left behind. They are taught their family history at an early age and their culture has a strong focus on honouring their ancestors and parents. Despite the abandonment of their nomadic lifestyles, their origins, their customs and their history remain a matter of pride. 